All right, Bob, I'm gonna walk you through it. This is easier than a bunch of pictures. So, engine, look familiar. So, fuel rail is, um, can't remember where I got it, but Radium sells these. For, for what you're doing, you really don't need um, a flow-through rail. This is actually a flow-through rail. It's fed by, um, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a Dash 6 AN um, braided line that goes to the back of the car. Feeds the fuel rail. Um, this side has a gauge, the other side has a fuel pressure sensor that goes to the Haltech. And then um, I was seeing a lot of fuel pulsation. Um, it, you might not have that issue, but when you get to, when I got to like 16, 17 pounds of boost, I started seeing some weird stuff. Um, generally you want a boost referenced fuel pressure because otherwise your tune has to jack up the pulse width on the injectors to compensate for the fact that the manifold is, you know, has pressure that's pushing against the, um, the pintle of the injector. So, I mean, the right way to do it is to always have a fuel pressure that's referenced. Um, so that's what this um, semi-rigid line is, and I'll show you where that ends up. Um, it ends up in a radium um, surge tank. Um, so in this case, this is the fuel pressure regulator. This is the line from the manifold that's referenced to manifold pressure. Um, this line is the, um, sorry, this braided line in the back goes directly to the fuel rail. This is the feed from the lift pump in the tank. And then this guy is the basically an overflow and it's a return to the tank. So the fuel pressure regulator regulates to, um, you know, 58 PSI plus the rail pressure, plus or minus the rail pressure, as it turns out. Um, the pump that's in the tank is a Dietchworks 340, um, and, and it really doesn't even need to be. It could just be a simple lift pump. Just all it needs to do is keep, has enough volume to keep this full, but it doesn't have to do it at a high pressure. Inside here is an AEM, I can't remember which one, but it's it's a whatever, like an 800 horsepower capable pump that does the high pressure generation for the fuel rail. Um, and then, um, oh, I guess this cover plate's on. So I'll send you a picture of what the fuel hat looks like. But under here um, is basically a clone of what is in your, um, what's in your NC. It, it, they look, the fuel hats look basically the same. And internally, they're almost exactly the same. Um, and all I did was I added a bulkhead connector to the top of it. I'll show you a picture um, to allow a f the return to come back from... Um, the surge tank in the trunk, and it just dumps into the reservoir that is the, the fuel hat. So that, um, so this can never starve of fuel, right? Because it's always um, being refilled from the tank or and or it's getting a return from the surge tank. The surge tank um, always stays full, and so the rail always sees full pressure. So that's, um, that's how it's set up. All right.